The old Kia Sorento was one of the most popular tow cars of recent years, so today's model has a lot to live up to. It's a very different car from its much-loved predecessor. Today's model is significantly lighter, which won't please owners of heavy twin-axle caravans. However, it is more economical, more practical and better to drive. Has Kia improved the Sorento for most buyers at the expense of caravanners? Let's get our biggest reservation out of the way first. The Sorento doesn't feel as secure and stable as a big 4x4 should. We found that to be true in our emergency lane change test and at motorway speeds. At a steady 60 mph we had to make more steering corrections than expected. Owners with cars fitted with self-leveling suspension, which wasn't fitted to our test car, say the Sorento is much better with this option fitted, so it's a box we recommend you tick if buying the Kia. That said, there's plenty to praise. One aspect of the car which is much improved over the old Sorento is the engine. There's lots more power, it'll comfortably tow any suitable match, and it's also considerably more economical. There's no shortage of power to cope with any suitable match. We towed a Swift Expression 586 from 30 to 60 mph in 11 seconds. The maximum download on the tow ball is 100 kilograms if you have a manual car like this one. That drops to 80 kilograms for the automatic. Kia supplied the car with 13 pin towing electrics and as you can see, they're nice and easy to access. Inside, the Sorento comes with seven seats in a roomy, practical and well thought out cabin. With all seven seats upright, the Kia has hardly any luggage space but folds seats six and seven into the floor and there's plenty of room. There's no arguing with Kia's seven year warranty and you get lots of equipment for your money. It's a better car than the old Sorento for most owners most of the time. Just be sure your car comes with self-leveling suspension.